Every time someone asks me, where am I from? And I say I'm from Gujarat. The first thing they say is, Kem chho, majama. And my reply has always been, ha, majama chho. Now me being a 13 year old, I cannot say I'm so tired of hearing the same thing again and again that I might burst out any minute now. Now these people also think, me not living in Gujarat, I don't know anything about my culture or like my tradition. But I can say that me being an only child and living in a nuclear family, my parents have never stepped back in teaching me and reminding me of my roots. Namaste. My name is Jia Dave and you see, I was born in Gujarat, but I've never lived there since I was three months old. I have lived in Bangalore, was brought up in Bangalore and stayed there till the first grade when my dad got a better career opportunity in Goa. So we moved here. Now, being far from Gujarat and between school and exams, I don't usually get to go there often. But whenever I do get the chance, I tend to cherish every single moment I spend with my friends and my family over there. But along with enjoying, I try to learn new things about Gujarat itself. But now, you know, being very honest, not being brought up in Gujarat has led me to explore different cultures, such as Bangalore's. Bangalore is a place where people from all around India live and collaborate to make itself a better city. It's the nation's leading software exporter as well as a major semiconductor hub. And since then, I understood the real meaning of unity in diversity. I mean people from all around India living and collaborating to make itself a better city without any discrimination is just wonderful. Now, enough about Idli and Vada. Let's go to Po and Pau and one of India's unique states having wonderful history, Goa. Just imagine a Guju in Goa. What a combination, right? Now, you know, I was quite worried to move to Goa because I had spent seven years in Bangalore. But as I came to Goa, I saw the beauty of it. You know, people have the notion that Goa is just about the beaches, partying all night, pubs and clubs. But I can tell you that Goa's ancient history is just wonderful. Goa's culture is a blend of Indian and Portuguese influence. The Portuguese ruled over here for about 450 years and their culture is still reflected in Goan culture today. Now, being in Goa has made me understand that you don't always need a reason to be happy. I mean, everywhere I go in Goa, everyone is just smiling, joyous, lively, happy, welcoming, just like us Gujaratis. Now, talking about Gujarat, let me talk a little bit about my Guju blood. You know, we Gujaratis have traveled the length and the breadth of the world. We are highly motivating, inspiring, and self-driven people. You know, we Gujaratis also have an anthem. I create, I take risk, and I live my passion. Now, just like our businesses, our festivals are also well known across the globe, such as Navratri, Diwali, the Kite Festival. I mean, I've seen people globally playing Dandia and Garba with the same amount of joy, happiness, colors, music, and most importantly, food. So you see, that's our speciality. You know, we spread joy as if it's some contagious disease. And we make sure that everyone is treated with the same amount of love and respect. So be the prime minister or be the housekeeper, everyone will be treated equally. And in India, we use a term called Atiti Deva Bhava, which means every guest is treated as a god. So yes, all Indians do that. Now, you see, that's my uniqueness, that I have the hunger to break the discrimination between the society. So I, as I love traveling, I look forward to do that by traveling the world and exploring different cultures. So at the end, be it Gujarat, be it Bangalore, or be it Goa, or any other part of India, we believe that India is one, 
and the Indian culture is a reflection of diversity and the richness of its people. It's a celebration of life, love, and spirituality. Thank you.